Guys, we are here with Alexander of the Purple ST who did top 64 the YCS Bologna. So, man, show us your depth profile. Hello, everyone. I play Fins 22 Bow with a small pressure engine. Uh, the deck performed really well. I'm happy with how everything went. Lost in top 64, but I don't think I would change anything to the deck. Now shout out to our sponsors, the first one being Grad, the best grading company in Europe, based in Pianeta Hobby in Milan. The second one is Car Trader, the online marketplace platform where you'll find the cards you need at market price in one shipment only. Create your account using the link right here. The third one, Game to Collect, is one of the top Italian sellers on the market, specialized in high rarity American cards, gold format and misprints. They also collect your cards up to 85% of their value. Next one is Magician Circle, a local store in Trieste specialized in sealed and custom products. They also host events for all TCGs. Then shout out to Game Lover, your favorite place based in Crema, where you can eat, play card games, table games and also video games. Next we got Aliandi, your go-to place in San Giovanni Lupatoto, where you can find mangas, comics, board games, singles and tournaments for all TCGs. Then a shout out to Planet Fun, the best place to go in Rovato for weekly tournaments for all TCGs. Last local store we have is Gamerland, based in Abiate Grasso, Lombardi's best shop to buy singles, sealed and play weekly tournaments. Then we have Chapa's Playmats, they produce amazing custom playmats that may have your own image on them. Last but not least we have Dragon Inc, they produce our official PA jerseys and cloth mats. All their links are in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Uh, starting with the deck, self-explanatory, 3 Lotus, 2 Blackening Beast. Uh, these, alongside with Nakrima, are the only normal summons in the deck. I cut one Beckoning Beast because of Nakrima, because I didn't want to have too many normal summons. Uh, alongside those, we have the engine requirements, Musk Warmer, Terror Incarnate and Yubel. Don't cut this one, it's really good and comes uh, for the Reckoning Beasts. Uh, it's a really good engine. This is insane because it synchronizes well with uh, the Kostir engine because you can return birds from the graveyards if you control a level 10 monster. You can return pain, so that's why you only play one. I used to play two for a very long time. I cut it, I actually played two on the 3v3 on Friday. Decided to cut it to one for the main event. And this is pretty much it for the monsters. Uh, going forward, three Nightmare Drones with one Terraforming and one Set Rotation. Now, the Set Rotation was interesting because I knew there would be a lot of people playing Kashtira, even as an engine on the main event. There were a lot of people actually playing it. But I decided it's worth it because I cut down Unicorn from three to two. So this is a pseudo Unicorn in a way, uh, where you can also play it going second. It can get rid of the Snake Eye Fist spell it, in the mirror match, it's fine. I was happy with how it performed. Then for the so-called bricks, you have Shravara and Chamber. Shravara is, is insane even when you draw it. I decided to play Chamber over Escape because I knew that there were going to be a lot of hand traps and this helps you layer your interruptions better uh, even when you get two or three hand traps thrown on you. Uh, then for the one-offs, one call by. One Talents, I play Trust in the side, so that's why this is a 1. And the 1 as a room, because we play the rabbit in the side. Same thing as with uh, Chamber, you want to play this because you're most likely getting hand trapped to death. So it's really easy to go into rabbit, set this, and then play through there. Then for the Finsmith engine, one Lurie, three Engraver, one Lacrima, double tracked. So, I really like the double track. This was actually the second card I put over the second pane. Uh, the engine just does so much because they're all fiends, they synergize well with the decks, uh, they can recycle themselves. Uh, this allows you to have a better grind game as well. I wouldn't put this down to one in the foreseeable future. Then we have the Kastura engine, one Fenrir, double Unicorn, one Raid Sot, one Burn. So, alongside terraforming and set rotation, uh, you're playing enough uh, of these cards to see them consistently in 43 cards, which is my main total. 
uh, Raid Salt has a hidden effect where it boosts your monsters, so a lot of people forget it, and then you can crash over their stuff with the Kashtira monsters, it also boosts your other monsters, so it's really nice. Bert is insane, every single time I drew Bert with Fenrir, I won the game because this solos every single meta deck. Hello. Then for the non engine, I decided to go with hand traps, triple impermanence, triple ash, triple troll. So, ash, pretty self explanatory, you need to play this main deck to play around Folaros, especially in this deck. Impermanence, nice as always. Droll was very good on the main event, and it also allows you, if you have a semi decent hand, if they Folaros you, you can actually do a few searches, give them a few draws, and then drop this on yourself so you can make the full board, they're not getting any more draws, and most likely they're not going to be able to go over it. As for the main deck, 43 cards. As for the extra deck, uh, we'll start with the Finsmith stuff, so one Requiem, one Close Heaven, one Sequence, one Aerial Eater, one Desiree. So, I cut the Necro Equip Princess because even though you're playing two tracked and sometimes it comes up to draw a card, uh, I decided to put in a Chaos Angel for the flexibility. Came up a few times, wasn't really something great, so I guess this is a flex port if you want to. Uh, the other part of the engine, very self explanatory, absurd card. Uh, then for the rest of the links, one Muckraker, you need this for the one card engraver combo, SP, obviously for Rage. Nightmare Phoenix, I've been playing this card ever since i played the deck. This is absurd, because it comes up every single time. It's a Fiend, it has a really good arrow, so you can make Requiem on top of it. Use it to pop, then draw a card, then use the Requiem. Absolutely insane, performed incredible pro. Phoenix MVP since 2019. <laughs> yeah, love the Nightmares. Uh, then, Silicon Rabbit, incredibly useful against Tempai. Allows you to play when you're getting hand trapped to death. Uh, both Azurun and the Silk Hat Trick are good. I think the Azurun is a bit better because it's more versatile, but the Silk Hat Trick is better than the versus Bad Bike. For the Unchained Package, one Yama, one Rage. Uh, not playing the Link Tree, not in the main side. I don't think it's worth it because you can kill easily with the Kingsmith Engine. Double Phantom, two Phantom because you can recycle this with Throne and Rage. Hopefully, it doesn't get hit. And the last card is the Varudras. The card is absolutely insane. It helps you break boards with just the Kashtir engine and this uh, overperformed throughout the entire tournament as well. Side deck? Yep, for the side deck, I decided to play the triple full Ross inside. Uh, the reason for this is I'm not playing a very high hand trap count inside the main deck. So I decided to have this when I'm for sure going second and it's always going to be live. Uh, card is Really great. Uh, then for, I guess, the funny card, you have to play this. Yeah. Especially, it's easily accessible via Area Weater, and you can make Phantom before you dump this and Sharvara. So it's always going to be protected against targeting, against monster effects. It's an incredible card. And then one Majesty's Fiend. So uh, the reason for this is it's a Light Fiend, so you can add it off track. And usually when they play Furos and Peruvia, usually in the draw phase to play around Phantom. If you have access to the Kastura engine, if you have access to the engraver stuff, you can search this, tribute over whatever, and if you set up this with Nightmare Pain and Phantom, they really have no way to deal with it. You can also set up the Kastura Field Spell. Uh, comes up, especially since they want to troll the Mucharmis in the draw phase against this deck. Came a few times in the tournament. And you can also link it off afterwards because it's a light feed for right Triple Cosmic. Uh, this is mainly for Centurion. I also played a few lab players during the main turn. The uh, card is really good. I guess you can play two if you really want to, but triple is fine for me. For the rest of the cards, Triple Trust. The card is absolutely insane. Like I said, this deck can have difficulties playing through Purulia and Fulos, so this is something that you really need, so you can set up a minimal board, play this, set one of these two, and hope that usually Rabbit Phantom and all of these is going to keep you alive at least. And the last two cards, I guess this is also a trust target, 
one second and the one anti-spell card is just way too good not to play even at one and I also needed a fourth card for the side patterns. So you just asked about the shadows. Uh... Any final shoutouts man? Yes, uh, shoutouts to everyone at Firmata back at home. Really good players, really missed them. Shout out to my girlfriend Evelyn for supporting me through all the time playing this game. And shout Shoutouts to Konstantin, my teammate. He lost the last round before top 64 uh, alongside a few other guys from Bulgaria. Really good players. Hopefully, they're together with me in the next top 64. Thanks for the profile. See you the next time. Stay plus, stay purple. See ya!